So we are back again underneath the vehicle and we're working on the cooling system. Why? Because after looking a little closer at the receipt and the part that I got from Advanced Auto, they actually gave me a 195 degrees Celsius or excuse me, 195 degree Fahrenheit, 90 degrees Celsius uh, thermostat. And the one that I pulled out of the car was an 83 uh, degree Celsius or 180 degree Fahrenheit thermostat. So we're going to drain the system again. I got another part from this time instead O'Reilly's. And we're going to see if replacing it this time is going to ultimately fix my odd and strange cooling issues. All right, let's get started. First, I'm going to actually loosen oops, this bolt here on the lower side of uh, the radiator. This is going to the thermostat up here into the water pump. This is the, the low side. I'm going to take this off, believe it or not, with the 9 16th and the ratchet here. And uh, as I do that, um, it'll loosen up this bracket and allow me to pull it off. If I can get it on. There we go. And that's all we're going to do here. And already there's some loosening. All right, let me catch this. All right, so now we've removed our hose, the lower in hot side of the hose. So we loosened our clamp here, we loosened our clamp up, clamp up there, and I was able to remove it and place it right down here. There it is. There's a top side, it's a much bigger mouth, low side, much smaller mouth, and there's your two clamps. So now as you look in here, there is, you gotta pay attention to this thing. See, this is a, this is like a, a C retainer, and believe it or not, you have to take, you have to buy this tool. I got it at Advanced Auto for like, uh, I think I paid 30, 20 or 30 bucks. It comes with a lot of different teeth. The two top pieces here, if you notice, this is a, I would say a 45, not a 90 degree. And that's what you need to go up into here and you're not going to be able to see this well, but grab those two holes there and you're going to pull them together so that uh, the tension is off of there and release it out and that's going to pull out your thermostat. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a buddy to watch to help me do this and record this at the same time, but I think you get the principle. All right, so here, is, here it is with the new one installed. That's the new thermostat, the 180 degree the, uh, Fahrenheit th thermostat instead of the 195. You see the gasket is around there. You want to make sure that's snug and pushed all the way back. Then you want to take this spacer or this piece right here and put it that's going to seal the gasket in place really well before you put your retainer clip back on. One thing to note, you want to make sure that you, uh, if you have any problems with clearance when you're putting, when you're trying to get that clamp off with uh, those grips there um, and you're bumping up against this, go ahead and take your power steering belt off if you have it or loosen in. And you basically are loosening this up to get clearance over this wheel as you do it. All right. Now we're running the car. We look very closely. You still see the bubbles coming out from the air. So I loosen that up and let the air come in. See that? That means it's leaving the air out of the system. We're just gonna let it keep running, running, and get all that air out. Okay, what are we looking at here? We're looking at two different thermostats. The one on your right is actually the original equipment. Uh, it looks like here, if you look very closely, you can see, if I can get in the camera, there you go. That is an 83 degree, that's 83 degrees Celsius. And if you look at the back here, you can see this looks like, uh, looks like the, if I can get the camera angle right, the original equipment from Germany, possibly. So this is the original thermostat. This one over here is the cheap imitation. I actually paid more. This wasn't the cheapest one from Advanced Auto, but it was definitely the wrong one. Uh, this is the other thermostat. It doesn't really have any markings at all, but this is 195 degrees. So this is the um, 90, 90 degrees Celsius, excuse me, yeah, 195, 90 degrees Celsius uh, thermostat. So this one's going to open up a lot later and keep your engine running a lot warmer. Also, something to note with these, the back of them are actually a little bit different. Uh, you won't get one. Uh, the one that's in there doesn't look quite like the old one. But if you look closely, they're a little bit different. And what I mean by that is, if you can see, this one is actually shallower. It protrudes less overall shoot, <laughs> than, um, than this one. So this one is a lot shallower. What does that mean? Well, if you're trying to put 
take one on or put one off if you're using this tool. This is the tool I was talking about before. Um, you run into a clearance issue with this one because actually this piece right here starts to not hook up against it and it, it, it prohibits you from being able to um, get to your retainer clip properly and seat these two pieces in there. So, you know, definitely, the, and I noticed on the one that I got with the 180, uh, 180 degree or 83 degrees Celsius, the replacement, the correct one for that, this bezel wasn't as much. So really pay attention. Uh, you can save yourself a lot of headache uh, by making sure that you have the right thermostat. Again, um, this one, this 195, is it'll make your car run hot. It'll make you feel miserable. Uh, and it will constantly make your uh, temperature gauge seem like it's too high because it's restricting the cooler fluid in the radiator from getting back into the engine block. That's after 30 minutes of driving, inner city only. Staying pretty cool. All right, so that was after driving 35 minutes uh, to work through town and you saw where the temperature gauge was. And so this really brings up a really interesting um, discussion because temperatures, temperatures are crazy important when it comes to thermostats as I found out. So um, you can go to your local auto parts store and they can give you a thermostat. But if you pay attention to the description, it will say either it's a 160 degree um, Fahrenheit thermostat, it'll say it's a 180 degree Fahrenheit thermostat or 195 degree thermostat. Why is that important? Because the Porsche comes with original equipment of an 83 degree Celsius, 180 degree Fahrenheit thermostat. So if you have the wrong thermostat, it's uh, definitely going to cause a problem. Uh, so what basically happened in my case is, let's explain the system, the water in the coolant or the coolant in the block warms up as the engine warms up. It then travels up through the upper radiator hose and it goes into the radiator. That fluid sits there and it's cool as the car moves through the radiator fins when the cold air hits it or when the radiator fans are spinning and produces the air to simulate that same condition. But the biggest thing that will happen is if that thermostat doesn't open up, all that cooler fluid just sits there. It doesn't actually enter the, uh, the block from the bottom end of the, th of the radiator. So the radiator at the bottom um, has a lower radiator hose that goes up to the actual water pump um, but it goes first through the thermostat so I had actually a 195 degree thermostat which didn't open up properly didn't open up that and it didn't allow that fluid into the system which caused the car to run hot so um, I just want to definitely recommend to you guys to definitely go ahead and make sure you get the 180 degree Fahrenheit which is the 83 degree Celsius um, thermostat. I'm saying these numbers together because it's really important because when you go to the auto parts store you're gonna say hey I don't understand these numbers aren't exactly right you want to make sure that the 180 degree um, is where you want to be the one properly so I hope this helps you out guys and take care